Hello, welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're going over to Ilkeston to the former head brewer of Magpie Brewery, who in his um, time there won the champion beer of Nottinghamshire 2023. Um, do you know something? I forgot the name of it. It's flipping on off my lips. It was a 7.3% vanilla. Uh, no, it's gone. But anyway, and it's not been rebrewed. But anyway, we're over to his, his new venture um, on his own and smashing it out of the park. You see his beers um, over at places like the Stanton Cask, literally all over. Um, good support from lots of pubs. Um, like the Byron's Rest in Hucknall and many others. You know, it's great to see anybody watching this channel from other breweries and other pubs. You know, get his beer on. Uh, contact the good fella. You know, um, the more support for breweries, uh, for me, is absolutely critical for the survival and for decent beer as well. This um, Our good fella knows how to brew a good beer. So... Here we go. What's the doggy got on offer? So this is Old Saxon English IPA. I got it from Adventure Beer. Um, I know he's got some new beers out at the moment. There's four, I think. Um, check out his social media on Facebook because I forgot. <laughs> My memory's absolutely crap. Um, but anyway, Old Saxon, English IPA, 5.4%. So, a nice ABV. Um, I may have actually had this already, but I don't know. Um, Old Saxon, a strong-hitting English IPA, standing tall with a good fight of a triple English malt and hop combination, dominating not just the 5th century, but the 5% ABV era. Bottle conditioned. So, all right, mate, don't tip the bloody bottle before you go and pull it. Um, tip it because there's a good chance that you may disturb the, the little bit of sediment at the bottom. So let me grab me. Yeah, so that's where I got it from Adventure Beer. Ignore the stains because, yeah, and they're beer stains. Yeah. So here we go. Forest fan like myself, hence the red dog. Hit diggity dog. Um, there we go. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it's clear as they come. Yeah, I don't know who's coming, but they're clear. Hey. Come on, be a bit of clear come. Let's not go down that road, eh? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, but um, yeah, it's golden looking poor. A little bit of a white head going on, crystal clear. Like I say, that last little bit, about the, you know, the, about that much, you'll get the sediment. Don't worry about the sediment. It, don't, it won't, it won't hurt the beer. You probably get in, um, you know, a nice bit of flavour at the bottom. You know, additional flavour. So there we go. Let's dive in. Chambosi. Nice malty fruitiness to the beer. Do you know, as much as, and I'm looking at pubs across Nottingham, as much as uh, pale ale so loads, and I know an IPA isn't a pale ale, so. But it is in some ways. It's because PA, pale ale, yep. But it's nice to have a range of styles. Don't have, say you're having a tap taker, don't have six pale ales on. Have a best bitter, have a bit of a dark beer, an ESB. The styles. The, the one thing about Red Dog and. Um, our man Johnny 
it grew some amazing variations of styles and uh, for me it's what makes it worth coming back and coming back again and uh, you know pubs like the Stanton Cask who've got their own Stanton Cask Pale uh, is it a pale? I'm sure it is um, memory's crap so don't, don't kill me um, Red Dog um, yeah was the beer the Red Dog Ales were the beers that were on at both my beer festivals at my my Raggies Beer Festival at my wedding and a little mini beer festival that I had at my daughter's wedding. Yeah, I'd have gone full hog, but she won't let me. <laughs> It'd have saved a lot of people a lot of money on beer, but I suppose the workplace wouldn't have been too happy. <laughs> Did take some nice sticky toffee Imperial Stout though, in bottles, bloody hell it was liver. Probably shouldn't have put the extra sugar in, it didn't need it. But uh, hey ho, uh, you win some and you lose some. But anyway, yeah, um, the first two beers that we had was the ESB, um, you know, in recognition of his father who wanted to uh, go down this route of having a brewery. And, um, you know, uh, that to me is a beer that obviously needs to be rebrewed. It was Bonnie's Reserve at the time. And again, my memory is rubbish. So if I get things wrong, I get things wrong. But uh, there's no uh, malice or any, you know any intentions or anything like that. Um, but it was an ESP, and it was absolutely bloody stunning. But the El Dorado Pale. Um, there were people there who, who were not really keen on pale ales, uh, but the El Dorado was just stunning. Uh, I've never come across. I ain't come across it again. Uh, I do hope he brews it again because, uh, unless I've just missed it, you know, you do miss beers. Um, and, and, and social media is an absolute waste of time these days. Uh, I've got to be honest. Um, but, yeah. Um, they were two amazing beers. And we had uh, different two. We were supposed to have three. There was, there was going to be the pit, po pit Black Stout. Pony Black Stout. And there was there was two of us at the other beer festival that we had. At my daughter's wedding. And those beers went very quickly. A little bit too quickly actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, but people opened themselves. And I'm good for that. You know. If I pay for it. And the, the the workplace isn't charging them, what's the word called? Uh, extras. Yeah, there's a word. Cappage. Um, corkage, whatever you call it. Um, then good. You know, if someone gets a free beer on Raggy, hey. they, won't get in the, they won't get in free Imperial Stars. That's a, that's a line I'm not, I am drawing. Especially when there was only about 10 or 12 bottles left. Um, for the beer festival, but uh, yeah, fantastic brewer. I've got all the respect in the world for for Red Dog and what he does, and uh, hoping to see um, you know someone like the Cock and Oop do a Red Dog Ales tap takeover in Keg as well. I mean, I don't know if he's doing Keg beer, and if he's doing any small batch, uh, you know, small batch. Big beers, uh, that'd be interesting for the likes of Cock and Hoop and maybe collaborations with the likes of uh, Magpie and, and, and others uh, for such an occasion. Um, I think that'd be amazing and you damn well know when I post this video I'm tagging in <laughs> Cock and Hoop, maybe Stanton Cask as well because uh, they've got keg. Um, let's celebrate our breweries you know we we look across the country and we see so many breweries especially the big breweries that don't give a flying monkeys about the people drinking their beer uh, you don't have to look at some of the quality of some of the bottled stuff in supermarkets where brands that were iconic brands that these days are absolutely dreadful and where beers like this you know are delivering 
a quality beer from a brewer working on his own. Although he may have other stuff these days. And uh, I've been down to the brewery for ages, time and that. And... But it needs to be done, it does need to be done. I need to go next door and go to that pallet bloke next door, see if he's got any pallets he wants to get rid of for free. Yeah, big massive pallets. I'll have to Google next door and say, dee, 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 get rid of your pallets for free. Because I'll, ta I'll take as many as you want. I use, them in, I use them for my kitchen garden and my new greenhouses that I've just, just built or building even. So let's talk a little bit about Nottingham Forest. I ain't got a clue what's going off for the club. We seem to be buying players like willy-nilly again. Are we getting rid of them? Are we getting rid of all the crap? Because there's a lot of crap. I mean, I work on my own as a gardener on 12 acres of gardens. In a time, years ago, when I worked for the city council, we would have about seven or eight gardeners. That's not a joke, either. And, uh, you know, I have to use every trick in the book to keep it going. Uh, a, a, a quality that I'm, you know, for the most part, happy with. I mean, there's no winning it, no winning it all, but, um, and I work like an absolute trooper. Long hours and all that. <sighs> Old Saxon. Um, I'm sure I've drank this somewhere. And uh, my two, my pub, pubs that fit, I'm thinking of is, is either going to be um, Stanton Cask, like I say, cracking micro pub in the Cockmanay area of Ilkeston, at the bottom of the hill, Cockmanay. I think it is anyway. It's Ilkeston. Um, with a cracking owner and, and lady. Um, and obviously Byron's Rest is an absolute legend of a pub. Flipping five pounds Sunday lunches. Five quid for a Sunday lunch. We booked this weekend. We're going Sunday. Five quid. Yeah. I'm, I'm treating the wife to, to a meal. <laughs> five quid. Yeah. I'm good for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. If she drives, I can have three pints as well. Happy drinkers. You'll be hearing a lot more about the happy drinkers. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> the Raggy Beer Review channel is staying the same. But we are getting happy drinkers. Um, more happy drinkers. So I've just pulled the rest in, so it's slightly hazier. So, you know, that's where bottle conditioned beers, don't worry about bottle conditioned beers. You know, sometimes it will go quite a bit cloudier. Depends on the bottle. And, uh, you know, for me doing a review, I want to show you both sides of the equation. What I can tell you now, it's a lovely malty beer. Delivers a lovely flavour. And I've talked for 13 minutes. My, my dinner will be here soon, so I better wrap up. Nice twang there, citrusy elements throughout, but not citrus, more modern traditional, this beer is. I like modern traditional, it suits me down to the ground, and it's tasting banging. What really resonates with me is, I know the story behind the brewery, I know the guy, obviously. He's top class. He likes a beer, don't we all? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Magpies Bar at the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival 2021. Oh, dear. Legend. And, uh, yeah, both got a bit... I got ratted. Um, I need to go with the good fellow up to the North Nottinghamshire Beer Festival that you get off the train and you're there 
it's at the train station. I need to go to that. Even if I'm going on my own. Um, but I'm bloody going. Um, I pull out of too many things. I need to go to more events. As long as somebody puts me back on the train before I'm too uh, abbreviated, of course. A nice bit of spice on this as well. Won't go on for too long. Will I drink this again? Hell yes. Out of five, all day long. A good 4.5 out of five. Nottingham Brewery. Nottingham, well, it's, it's in Derby. Is Nottingham. Uh, it, it, the lines across, you know what I mean? But a great brewery, great person, great beer. Cheers.